It talks about in Ezekiel chapter 20, when Yahweh brings us back from the peoples and gathers us out of the countries. This is about the 10 tribes and also, of course, of Judah, but who were scattered. Here's what he's going to do. He's going to bring us into the wilderness of the peoples, and there he will plead his case with us face to face, just like he pleaded his case with our fathers in the wilderness when we came out of Egypt, okay? He's going to make us pass under the rod and bring us into the bond of the covenant. So this is why so many people right now are returning to the Torah because you're coming to this wilderness place with God. He's bringing you back to obedience. He's going to purge the rebels from us and those who don't come into covenant, right? If they transgress that sin, he's going to bring them out of their countries, but they don't get to go back to the Israel. But we are promised we are promised in Ezekiel chapter 47 that those, if we obey him and believe him, that we get to go back. Well, if we make it through the tribulation, of course, um, those of us who are there, we get to go back to the land of Israel and we divide the land up in uh, according to the tribes of Israel again. Ezekiel 47 is very clear. This is any Gentile who wants to live with the children of Israel who serves God gets a portion in whatever tribe he or she chooses to sojourn. That's the last three verses of Ezekiel 47. So if you are in this wilderness experience, if God is calling you back into covenant with him, don't resist, don't, don't push his hand away. This is a beautiful thing. He brings, he's bringing back his people, Israel, and that is coming back into covenant with him.